here and here's a quick update on my latest project. For the rule set saga I want to get a six point army um, of Gauls and this is for the latest supplement age of Hannibal. However I really want to paint them a lot quicker than I normally do so I've tried a few techniques to speed my painting production up. I'm going to try and uh, apply the three foot wargaming rule. Here's a couple of pictures that Wayne very kindly sent me um, show, showing how some Gauls could be painted up. But I'm not going to paint any tartans, I'm not going to paint any uh, checks or lines on them. I just want them nice and simple and I want them produced nice and quick. So I wanted to try how, change how I base my figures because I'd spent too long on those. And I bought um, a coloured paste, it's a, it's a grainy coloured paste. Um, here it is here, this earth texture. Um, and then you apply it direct to the, the figure and then you dry brush it as I've done here. Now I do think maybe I should have bought a sandy one for a bit of contrast rather than the earth colour. It's not that cheap so I will persist with it but um, there we go. Next was the Citadel contrast paints and I bought a great big load of them after Christmas and I've been trying them on these figures. I did them in two batches of 12 here um, and I've painted 24 so far. And they've, they've come out okay, um, as you can see now. Initially you spray them primer grey, um, very light primer grey, um, and then you apply the paint directly to the primer grey and, and you try and draw uh, the paint nap waste pigmentation um, pulls, so you have to try and uh, control how it pulls and, and move it around a little bit. Okay, but one of the problems I had was with the skin tone. If you look at the three figures here, the two guys, well, first of all, you've got the lady who I, I got frustrated with and painted it in the old school way. The guy on the left was my first wave, and the second, the guy in the middle is a little bit lighter. And he's lighter because um, this is the primer grade figure, and with all the skin tone on the second batch of 12, I, I was painting them with a very pale skin um, as an undertone instead of grey. And it seemed to lighten them up a little bit. Um, have uh, Gilliman's flesh uh, contrast paint on them. The pooling doesn't always work that well. This this one here, uh, if you let it pull too much, you've got to draw it out. And the red on the right did work better, as did some of the other colours. All my figures I dry brush very very lightly with a, a very uh, just a white. Here's a couple that work, that did work well. This one's uh, apothecary white. And you did have to apply it quite heavily, but um, yeah, I liked it actually. Um, it, it, it seemed to sit in the recesses and give a good bit of depth. Another one I liked was the military and green. Um, yeah, that one came out well. All these figures I, I did dry brush white very, very lightly just to pick out the high points. One is Gork to fur. Great for um, furry and also for horses apparently as well. For brown horses is excellent. This is the, 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 the contrast paint I use for the flesh tone, Gilliman's flesh. Templar backs is, is a very good one as well. Um, pulled nicely and uh, with a white dry brush, very light. It could work well. I'm painting another eight more war uh, foot warriors. I need some mounted either foot or warriors, half and guard maybe. Um, and I'm going to need a couple of chariots as well. So, but if I took myself completed those, I think I'm done with the uh, the gauls. Overall, the uh, the basing obviously I wish I'd done it in a sandy colour now for a contrast with green tufts. Um, that's done. The contrast paint's good, um, but I'm inclined to use them with a mixture of the old school techniques. Anyway, that's about my lot uh, for here today. Um, hope you're all well, staying safe, and hopefully see you all soon.